my name is Margaret Ruth Cobbledick Tamplin. And as, as my family had done, I, I was a teacher in my life. But my loves are music. And my wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my grandchildren. Traveling. Those kinds of things. My childhood, I was the third child. My mother wanted to have two children. <laughs> so that was less than perfect, I guess. But we sorted that out over the years. Okay, when I was a child, we were members of the United Church. Well, my mother and I and my brothers were members of the United Church. My father was a Baptist because he liked the music better. We went every Sunday, but that was it. We just went on Sundays. My dad went on Sundays and Thursdays because I was singing Sundays and Thursdays. And uh, toward later on in his life, he came back to the United Church and we all were in the choir. Or at least he and I were in the choir together. My mother's father came from Northern Ireland. So he was very anti-Catholic. My mother wouldn't let me have Catholic friends. I had brought home friend home from camp and my mother said you won't come back to the house to her when she left and I didn't know that but I never heard from her again until I saw her many years later and she said well your mom made it pretty clear that I wasn't allowed because I was Catholic so my mother also told me Catholics would go to hell and, and there was no basis similarity in religion between the Catholics and the Protestants. But I think that set the tone for faith in our church. I was also abused by one of the, the Sunday school teachers. And I told my mother and she said, well, you just watch yourself because that's not something you talk about. Okay. So, everything had to be neat, you know? No space in the house for things that didn't fit in the, my mother's picture of the world. So, when I became Catholic, my mother said, you are no longer in the family, you are disinherited. And then she came to my house and I was organist at the Catholic Church and she came with me to the church. And she said, but they, they did readings out of my Bible. Well, I said, there is only one Bible. It is shared between the Catholic and Protestant Church and many other churches. Hmm. Okay, so she decided that I was back in the family, which was very nice. So my mother, in truth, told me two important things. No gay, no Catholic. That's it. I guess that kind of tells you the impact of telling your kids what they can't do. <laughs> or just tells you that I was contrary. A number of times, in my childhood, I experienced abuse. <clears throat> and that, of course, lays a kind of foundation that distorts sexuality. <clears throat> so my, my mom, again, was very <clears throat> anxious that I only had girlfriends. But I thought, well, <laughs> I have girlfriends. I mean, I had guys, there were guys at school and we were friends. But I spent most of my time with girlfriends, and she started to get worried. She took me to a shrink, said, now I want you to make clear that this girl is normal. You know, the, these, these roadblocks were always there for me to kind of bump into and correct and bump into and correct. And unfortunately, I didn't correct the way my mother wanted me to but I corrected in a way that felt right. And it, it really taught me the importance of knowing your feelings and hearing your feelings. So I got married and had my three wonderful children. And uh, 
was very happy to have done that. I had a wonderful time being a mom. I loved being a mom. I wouldn't have given that up for anything, not for anything. But then my uh, dearly departed husband said he wanted a separation, which, okay, I can roll with that. And we moved out and I got to write an, another chapter in my life. And very shortly after that, um, C joined the staff at the school. But it, I mean, it was a number of years before C and I actually got together. But I, uh, what I realized with her was a feeling that I had never had. And that was kind of joyous, very fulfilling and wonderful. And we kind of share a mind that makes the world float very smoothly. So the journey, the destination. <laughs> I think there are a lot of rules in the Catholic Church that are really not designed to help people embrace faith or God. So I make peace with some things I accept there and some things I don't accept there. I believe in God. I believe in the divinity of the soul and every person has a soul that is divine. And uh, if we want to be good, loving people, um, to, to make rules against it just seems wrong. <laughs> Thank you.